continue to do what you love to do. Um, because that should be your joy. At the end of the day, whether the bright lights are on you or it's a flashlight. As long as you're doing what's in your heart that you feel makes you happy and the gift that God's given you, do that. In, in this due season, everything will be fine. Because like I said, I never thought I would be here talking to y you guys. I never, this is something I never dreamt of. This is something like, wow, I can't believe that my life can bless yours. But that's what it's all about. Yeah. I love everything that I've been through because I can help you not go through it. You know? And um, I just think that as long as you stay true to yourself, and just continue to do the things that you love to do, everything will work itself out. But you got to be patient. And you can't be lazy. You can't be lazy. You got to put in the work. You can't be the best opera singer if you don't practice opera. I mean, it's just common sense. So you definitely got to put in your time and just be a good steward of your time and your friendships and definitely get people who are moving forward, not people that's kind of stalling. Like, like you talk about the people that say, man, I'm going to do this. Like, I'm going to do this one day. I'm going to do this one day. And they never, that day never comes. You can't have people like that. You got to have people that's moving forward that kind of inspire you to up your game. You know, for me, that was what I am. I'm like, man, working with that dude, he's a nut. He's a genius. He's crazy. Like, just an unreasonable amount of creativity 24 hours a day. He never sleeps. He's always doing something. I'm like, wow. I'm lazy. I gotta stop sleeping. <laughs> but no, man, he, he really inspired me. And like, you just gotta get somebody that you can follow that really inspires you to kind of like show you, like, man, I need to work harder and just keep chasing that. For me, I, I'm, I'm more of a spontaneous type of guy. I don't go in there with a, a set, like, we're gonna do it like this, 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 because I know all of that is subject to change. So I never put stipulations. On what I do, um, I kind of just let everything flow in its natural order of things. Uh, I think one reason why that particular situation worked out so well was because I had a great team of guys working with me, so they made my job real easy. So that's why I always say you gotta have a good team of people who are excellent at what they do because they help you to be excellent. So that made my job easy. Um, I would always also say, don't worry. Worrying doesn't get anything done. And I think as a producer, it's very, very important as a producer, we set the atmosphere in the studio, right? So if I'm walking around stressed out and like, oh my God, we got 15 minutes to do 21 songs, what are we going to do? Everybody else is going to be stressed out and they're going to be like, oh my God, we're not going to do this because if you're freaking out, I'm freaking out. So you always got to keep your cool. Um, like I said, I have the best band, the best musicians to work with. They made my job easier. But just remember always stay calm under pressure and everything will always work itself out. You just keep faith that God got you anyway and everything is going to work itself out. It sounds easy, but in practice, you'll get used to it. It's like hitting that buzzer beater, you know what I'm saying? You be calm under pressure. As long as you keep your foundation and your form right, everything is going to be fine. But it all starts from how you build yourself before you get to those situations. That's very key, guys. You've you got to build your, your house right from the beginning so when all of these different weather situations happen, you can handle it. I think what helped me the most is being associated with good people. Um, for me, being associated with Will I Am just took my career through the roof. I mean, a lot of songs that I produced and um, you know, I, I've co-written was with Will, and because of Will's uh, reputation, it opened the door for me to get in to work with the Michael Jackson and Chris Browns and you know, Busta Rhymes and Mariah and all of these good people. So, um, like I said, just definitely make sure you have a good, good base of people that you work with and have a good person that you believe in that you work for because that will definitely open doors because you know this is Los Angeles, this is a music business. It's all about that stamp. Who's co-signing you? Oh well, you're co-signer? Oh cool. Come on in. You know? So that's what helped me.